Good morning, friends. It's Miss Patty. I've got a really good book for you guys today. It's called Pete the Cat Out of This World. Does this look good? See, this is the title page, the cover. Look, what do you see? Who is this? I see Pete the Cat. What is he wearing? He's wearing an astronaut outfit. And what's that? Does anyone know? It's the moon. And what's this? It's the space shuttle. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's see. I'm gonna open the book and look. Here is the title page. It looks the same as the cover. It's a great day. Pete, and Pete the cat is going to visit space camp. And this sign says, welcome cat, space camp. See, he's going to visit. He's got his suitcase and his guitar and his skateboard. And his mom is taking him. Pete meets his bunkmate, Glenn. As they unpack, there is an announcement. Welcome, space campers. Please head to the classroom. Your mission begins now. See, they, they're in their room. They have their bunk beds and their uniforms and their luggage. Time to suit up, Pete says. He and Glenn put on their uniforms and then race to class. There are so many fun things and super cool, neat stuff to see. See the space shuttles and rockets? Astronauts Tom and Chris talk about the trips they've taken and they give a sneak peek at future space trips. It would be totally rad to go to space, says Pete. What does rad mean? Do you guys know? It means cool and fun. See, outer space is the sun and Mars and the moon and the different planets. Ooh, that would be so fun to go see them. The campers find out what it feels like to be an astronaut. They go in the zero gravity chamber that lets them float in the air and they get to ride in the rovers. They even get to build tiny rockets and set them off to fly. Pete's flies very, very far, high up in the sky. Way to go, Pete, says, says Glenn. Ooh, this is gonna be so fun. I want to go to space camp. I don't know about you guys, but it looks really fun. The next stop is Mission Control. We have some exciting news, says Tom. Our next flight leaves today. We are going to the moon. And we have room for one more friend to go with us. Oh! <gasps> Cool, let's see. Pete, do you want to go, asks Sally. That would be totally awesome, says Pete. Oh, it's good. the shuttle is going to take off in 10 minutes and 5 seconds. What? I wonder what's going to happen. Let's see. 
It's time to buckle up and settle into the space capsule. See, there's Pete and Glenn and Tom. They're putting their, see, they're wearing their, their outer space suits and they've got their seatbelts on. Let's, let's count off. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off, blast off. Look, the rocket has fire coming out of it and smoke, and it is lifting up into the air. Oh, cool. Let's see what happens. Their ship speeds through space. They pass a satellite and even spot a comet. Do you see the comet and the satellite? And look how far away Earth is. It's far, far away. They are up in the sky. That sounds so fun. I want to go in on a rocket. Tom and Sally have a rocking surprise for Pete. They brought his guitar, see? So then Pete can play a groovy interstellar song for them. Mission Control listens in. The rocket, the rocket, I went in the rocket. Outer space, outer space, I went in outer space. How fun. See, Pete's playing music from his guitar and everyone's floating and dancing. In no time at all, they land on the moon. They are ready to explore. The astronauts collect rocks and map out the moon's surface. Whoa, cool. Let's see what happens next. Pete has a very important job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads towards Mars. And he takes lots of pictures with his camera of Mars. Whoa, cool. Oh no, Pete lost track of time and the moon is far, far away. What is he going to do? He needs to make it back to the ship before it blasts off or he will be stuck. Oh, phew. Pete made it back to the rocket in time. The astronauts head home, and there it and there's time for a few more tunes with Pete playing his guitar. It, they go five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Pete sure knows how to make an entrance. Look, they land on the earth. They are home. And Pete sings, my rocket, my rocket. I love it being in my rocket. My rocket, my rocket. I love being in a rocket. The astronauts get off of the rocket and they, and they, they are home now. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. Still, he's psyched to have his feet back on solid ground again. Rocket on, Pete. And I'm going to close the book. The end. Thank you for reading the book with me, friends. I'll see you guys later this week. Have a good week. Bye.